no matter what, I will be forever the myth. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I begin a new series on the myth Sergio Oliva, undoubtedly one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, also called the original mass monster. Sergio was a true genetic freak exhibiting muscular development that had never ever been seen in the history of humanity, let alone the history of bodybuilding. In this new series of videos, I would like to focus on the blueprint to the myth. That is, what was it, what is it that made the myth so massive, so huge? No doubt his genetics and steroids had a role, but in particular I wish to explore his harsh upbringing, his early life and early methods that helped develop his incredibly massive physique. We start off with this epic shot of Sergio hitting this front lat spread during the 1972 Mr. Olympia which he controversially lost to the Austrian Oak Arnold Schwarzenegger. Check out the high striated pectorals, the enormous width and thickness of his lats and shoulders and the incredible thick mass of his arms and to top it off, I mean to top it off he smiles quietly knowingly that he was impossible to beat. Unbelievable shot of Sergio the Myth. Now Sergio was known as the Myth due to his insane mythical proportions. At a height of 5 foot 11 and a half inches, he weighed a total of 255 pounds with an enormous chest of 58 inches. In comparison to his tiny waist of only 27 inches, can you imagine the V taper that this man had? He must have been an absolute phenomenon to see live. Now his arms were reportedly also measured at 22 and a half inches at his peak, although Arthur Jones measured them at slightly over 20 inches cold. Nevertheless, his arms were reported by Arthur Jones to be bigger than his head. Insane. His forearms at one point also measured 20 inches and they were so goddamn huge that he couldn't even flex his own biceps. That's how massive this man was. When he put on his shirts, they had to cut the sleeves for God's sake. His thighs measured at 33 inches. Can you imagine that? At their biggest bigger than his own waist. This is incredible. No wonder he was called the myth. His proportions were incredible. His calves also measured almost um, 20 inches at 19 and a quarter inches. Insane proportions. Insane. Truly the myth. As mentioned before, this new series on Sergio Oliva, the myth, will focus on the big question and that is, what is the blueprint to the myth? What is the blueprint to his massive physique? What is the blueprint to his incredible strength? In order to address these questions, I would like to reveal his foundation. For example, um, what is it that he did early on in his career? Uh, what did he do before he actually started bodybuilding? Now, after reading his book, for example, I learned that Sergio had a very harsh upbringing, forcing himself to undergo hard labor as a child to support his mother and his siblings. Later on, he was discovered and uh, he started practicing weightlifting. And he even got to such a high level that he participated in the Pan American Games representing Cuba. Such an early practice of, of uh, for example, of weightlifting and having to do all this child labor during his teens, as you can imagine, would set the foundation to his incredible strength. Later on, when he escaped Cuba and headed off to the US, it is reported that Sergio would work hard labor 10 to 12 hours per day. And then after that, he would perform grueling bodybuilding workouts for two to three hours 
This is insane. This is incredible. I mean, this man was an absolute beast. There is no doubt that Sergio Oliva was one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. He was an absolute genetic freak. And as I already explained, he had incredible work capacity due to his foundation and genetics. This no doubt led to him being one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. And I will also reveal in this series the workouts, the grueling workouts that he performed in the 60s and 70s to develop his incredible physique. Here is that victory pose of Sergio Oliva, the myth, during the 1972 Mr. Olympia in Essen, Germany. Phenomenal. So I hope you've enjoyed this short introduction on Sergio Oliva and on the upcoming series here at Golden Era Bookworm. I leave you with this fantastic, phenomenal, most muscular pose. Sergio's muscles are not just striated, cut, ripped and full, but they are completely saturating the pose. What an incredible, most muscular pose. Truly, truly amazing. A true phenomenon. The myth at his absolute best. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm and leave me your comments. This is the Golden Era Bookworm, bringing you more about Sergio very, very soon. Bye for now.